Chapter 3 Pirates Aground We're back at Fort Mercenary! You wanted to see me, Father? Sit down, Ike. We haven't had a chance to speak yet. Titania told me what happened while I was gone. About the kidnappings, about my own men disobeying Titania's direct orders. I was the one who left first. I'll take responsibility for everything. No fair playing the martyr. No one made me go with you. I left in my own free will. I'm ready to accept my punishment, too. Wait, what am I saying? Please, Commander Grail. Titania entrusted me with her orders. If anyone's to blame for this mess, it's me. I'm the one who should be punished. I set a poor example, Commander Grail. Any punishment should be mine alone. I'm pleased to see that you're willing to shield one another. However, regardless of your reasons, you disobeyed the orders of a superior officer. You were confined to your quarters for ten days. But father, they did what they did to help me and Rolf. Rules exist for a reason, Mist. Men don't survive on the battlefield if they do as they please, without so much as a buy or leave. I understand, and accept my reprimand. That being said, you've got more work than we can handle. We've got more work than we can handle. Your punishment is deferred until things calm down. Oscar, Boyd, and Reese, you come with me. Shinon, Gatry, and you, Ike, you're with me. Yo, <laughs> me belly's empty in me first, my Ted. Fetch me some grub. T Port Talma. <laughs> town. It's another five building town. This one time with a port. That's the pirate ship in question, isn't it? Also, that ship is huge compared to the houses. I don't know if I read the previous one. That's the pirate ship in question, isn't it? Aye, they sailed into port a few days ago and have been causing trouble ever since. I pray that you and your companions can drive them away. I understand. We'll do all we can. Feathering sea scum is like shooting apples off a tree. Let's do the job and get out of here. Oh, command. Uh, oh, deputy commander. What? Uh, you want the standard thunder and lightning maneuvers here? Uh, thunder and lightning? Yeah, I crash into them like thunder, and Shinon rains, ar rains arrows down to them like lightning. Sounds good. What should I do? Let's hold back and let Shinon and Gatry soften them up. Once they've whittled down the numbers, we all rush the ship and wipe out what's le uh, whatever's left. Oh, I'm getting the hell out of here! I'm gonna vanish into the corner! Are you all ready? Grail mercenaries, move out. On my way. Here we go! Ready. This is a new thing. We got preparations now. Uh, the main things you want to be looking for here, because these we've already seen before. Actually, we haven't even gone over conditions. Uh, items, you're able to rearrange the items of the people in your uh, in your your party here. With which I'm gonna do just that by trading out my swords. Uh, I'm going to give one of the steel axes back to Titania. Dump the iron sword off there. He's good. He's good. Anybody got anything else that we need? Uh, I want to give the... Oh, let me see. View map. You can see everything that's around you. We've got Myrmidons. We've got axe wielders. We've got big bulking axe wielders. And for the first time, we've got enemy archers. Just in time for us to have our, our own. Excuse me. All right. And don't look at the map. Hit A to go back in here. Reposition. You can change where people are located. Uh, depending on where you want them to be. Though I think this is the, the default arrangement is a good one here. Ike can never move. Uh, on top of that, there is choose units. Uh, you can choose which units join you in battle. However, the ones in green text are the ones that are required to be in battle. The ones in red text are, are the ones that you cannot add. So, we're kind of stuck with who we got right here. Uh, later missions will show people with gray names if they're not in battle but can be added, or white names if they're in battle uh, and can be removed. I just want to look at my speed here to see who could benefit most from it. It depends on who I want to take with me. I might give the speed wing to Reese. Uh, but that might be a waste off the bat. If I give it to Ike, I mean, like, I could just keep bolstering up Ike's speed so he's always getting in good hits, but... I don't know if I want to keep it balanced for people I want to use in my party. 
I might hold off, hold off on the speed wing for now then. Uh, what do we got? I think the other thing I want to do as well... Is I would like to... I've got a dog behind me chewing on a bone. I'll take one of the three charge vulneraries for him. Everybody else has their own vulnerary, so that's good. Alright, I think we're good to go. Let's fight. Now that we've jumped into battle, we can go over our different units here, starting off with Sheenon. He is a sniper, another uh, another advanced class. This is the advanced class of the archer class. Uh, however, unlike Titania, uh, Sheenon's stat gains are so massively good that you actually do benefit from using him. Uh, and even, even though he will peak early. And his stats are pretty good too. On top of that, Snipers are one of three classes in this game that have a base crit chance of 15 with his... It's a skill. Skill divided by two. So yeah, 15 and then skill divided by two for 22. That's really good right off the bat. So Sheenon is definitely going to be a, uh, a good user. And as an advanced class, he gets one more movement than most uh, foot-based uh, allies. Um, archers as well. Archers and snipers can only use bows. And as such, they only ever have a range of two or more. They cannot attack at close range. And I don't believe there are any bows in this game that can attack at, at a range of one. Uh, so, you know, be careful when, when positioning Sheen on. His defense is very high, which is really good, especially considering he has the very confusing skill for an archer of provoke. Provokes enemies into attacking first. What that means, it's not very well explained here. What that means is, is if, if he's in range of other enemies, those enemies are gonna prioritize attacking him. But since he's got a pretty good defense, that's not necessarily a bad thing if you're trying to keep other units safe. Probably good to be paired with a healer like Reese. Our other unit here is Gatry, a knight. And unlike the mounted knights, he is an armored unit. Uh, armor, uh, knights have a ridiculous amount of defense and attack, the literal definition of a tank. Uh, they can take down people hardcore, and plus that strength helps defer the weight of, uh, some heavier, uh, weapons. For example, uh, the Steel Lance, because of his strength, he's only losing one speed off of this, which means against people that are wielding heavier weapons, he has the potential to attack them twice. Strength is very good in, when it comes to attack speed. Uh, on top of that, they are, because of, of like, the, the stat gains as well, his stat gains reflect his, uh, his, um, uh, best stats as well. Strength, skill, and defense, as well as HP. So you're gonna be getting a lot of good use out of that. Um, difficult to tell with some follow-up attacks, because later on, his low speed might make it, uh, difficult for, uh, for him to do follow-up attacks, but right now, he's still able to do them and accomplish them very well. Uh, because of his massive strength, uh, getting rid of the penalty for the weights of certain weapons. Uh, and there was a reason he was late to the last battle. His movement is lower than your average foot soldier, making it a little bit harder to keep him up front where he needs to be. Uh, on top of that, knights generally laugh in the face of the weapons triangle, just because even if they do hit, there's no guarantee they're going to be doing any damage. However, despite his incredible defense, he has no resistance, making him very vulnerable to magic. And plus, there are weapons later on the line that you could find that are really good against knights, um, that deal additional damage against armored units. Now that we've gotten all that out of the way, I think it's time we begin here. Let me see what we're looking at here. He's got a speed of 10. His strength gets rid of the weight penalty for that, so he's just got a straight-up attack speed of 10 with, uh, with the Iron Sword. And five with the steel sword, so I can get a I'll get some damage off on him that way. I wonder if there's any way I can yeah, there's there's zero way I can make it so Oh actually, ooh. Fourteen Yes! Uh let's have Titania this is the first time I've fought with Titania. And this is just so I can get the last hit on this guy and get the exp Never mind, never mind, never mind. Of course, the first time I actually fight with Titania, she crits and steals all of the experience. Not necessarily a bad thing. We'll have her go to this house. Ike, I'm gonna put... Oh, let's see. Actually, it might be better for... Gatry. Oh, let's see. Ike is certainly in a position here. we 
looking at this range just to see where I can put him. Although there's no guarantee I'm going to kill... Well, he'll be attacked twice if I do that. What's his defense at? Seven. And they've got 14 and 14 respectively, so he's going to be taking seven damage from each of those, assuming they hit. He's got plenty of health, though, thanks to the, thanks to the item I gave him. I'm going to do this. Uh... No, I'm going to do this, because if I kill the other one, then it's going to make all three of them co Yeah, and then I also got to worry about this guy here. The Archer. So let's do this one. I only have to worry about two of them. Next up. Gantry's going to come over here, and... Um... Yeah, his attack speed's never really going to be above five, so Steel Lance is probably better just to get more damage in on him. But look at the amount of damage he's dealing. That attack of 23 versus his defense of six. A cool 17 points of damage there if this makes contact. They are slow, though. And zero damage coming off of that high defense. The way the game scales, uh, though, Gatry will, Gatry's defense will not be outpacing... Uh, will not be outpacing weapon damage for terribly much longer. That said, look at this attack speed on Sheenon! His strength is high enough to be able to... Is his strength actually nine? Are you kidding me? Yeah, his strength is enough to deter the, uh, the, um the weight from the steel bow, keeping his attack speed at 13, whether he's using the iron bow or the steel bow, which means he's dealing a ton of damage. Smack him with an arrow, kill him outright. Still can't believe I lost in chapter, I still can't believe I got a game over in chapter one. Ba bum bum. Shinon is kind of an, uh, an anomaly when it comes to archers. Most archers are very squishy up close. Oh, that's not what I was expecting at all. 28. How much am I dealing to you? Nine? Or 12? Uh, let's have... First thing I want to do, I want to unequip her axe. Then I want her to visit this place. This town seems quite unruly, wouldn't you say? Is it always this dangerous? Oh, so it's plagued with pirates, is it? I see. That would explain why the people here seem so anxious. You appear to be a mercenary. Would I be right in supposing that you were hired to clean out the pirates? Here, perhaps you should take this. It might come. It might help you if you run into trouble contending with the pirates, but do hurry. I came all this way to see the world-famous fish market, and I've, I'll never do so with those ruffians around. Best of luck to you. Hmm. Quite the unique experience there, says I. Uh, Shinon can just easily take this guy out, no problem. He'll take no damage from their arrows. God, why? They made archers so squishy for some reason. Uh, is he dealing with negative attack speed? Because I don't want to. Uh, I want Ike to get some experience. Because of the amount of high level units you have near here in this mission. This is the perfect opportunity to train up Ike. Try to get Ike in as many battles as possible that finish off the opponents. Because that's where all the experience is at. Uh, Iron Axe. Uh, weight of 10, strength of 6. No, he's just at 0, so I can't attack him with the... I can't attack him with the Steel Lance and I won't attack twice. I'll be dealing a cool 16 damage. Nope, 17 damage to this guy with my Steel Lance. Assuming I hit. Good stab. Why? I'm glad he missed, but I, like, did I miscalculate? Strength of six, weight of 10. Is it just because his speed is at zero? That's such a weird quirk. I thought it was five more, maybe it's only four? No, I've seen it with four and it doesn't do that. I'm gonna have to look into that. Uh, Yeah, I only need the iron sword for this, so I'll go with that. Nine damage, yeah, that'll work out. Wait, how much health did he have? He had 11, moron, I should've used the steel sword. Could have saved myself taking this hit. Uh, 
Ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. Oh well. Next on our list. I mean, since he's got provoke, it should work out in my favor. Iron bow will not kill. I'd rather kill this guy. Although he doesn't really deal that much damage. Let's see if he does the uh, the crit. No, I like the crit animation for uh, for archers. I think I know why I like this game so much. The animation and everything reminds me of Monster Rancher. Hey, you boat monkey! You tricked me, didn't you? Tricked you? Ah, what a vile thing to say. There used to be saying. Don't you agree, matey? Yeah, that I do. There'd be nothing but honest pirates aboard this ship, missy. You said you knew the whereabouts of my older brother. That's why I came all the way to your ship. Oh, and we do know. He was on board for a while, and then... Do you recall where he went, matey? Ah, oh, that I do. It was a penniless elf, so he tossed his worthless carcass into the rolling waves. <laughs> my... my brother? That's horrid! Horrid? Did he say horrid? Your scurvy br uh, brother was the horrid one. He lost a game of chance, he did. If you lose, you must pay, and the scallywag tried to cheat me, Boschetti Pete, he did. Arr, calm yourself, me hearty. Yar, yar, yar. After all his darling sisters come to pay us a visit, what we'll say, we, uh, we'll say you work off your brother's debt? What I, what say I run you through with my lance and call it a day? Yaha, <laughs> it matters not that you be a Pegasus knight, lassie. A wee minnow like yourself is no match for a sea dogs. Prepare yourself, you flying wench. Pfft, I'm not afraid of you, clam bake. If your axe is as dull as your wit, this will be over in no time. So now we've got a an uh, an other uh, uh yeah another person out here who's not an enemy in Marsha. Just kind of here in hard mode. Uh, more units spawn around the town, making it take, and I believe the, uh, the enemies are, are stronger too, making it tougher to get to Marsha, and possibly having her die before you're able to communicate with her. As they're going for her right now. Yikes. She should be able to finish them off, but they're the downside. She's able to take that guy out. I think on normal, she's able to pretty much take out all of them. Oh, but she doesn't attack either. I hope she takes her turn to heal. She didn't. All right, let me take a look at this again. She's using a slim lance as well. Defensive eight. They're dealing 13. So she's going to take five damage from him and three damage from him. So she'll survive next turn, but we'd best be making haste. Steel sword. Never enough. Ever and more. Never enough. Never enough. Uh, how about the smaller guy? 10 damage, not enough to kill. I'll get her up there. If she needs to run in for interference, then I'll have her do that. But for now, I'm just going to have her go up there. Meanwhile, we could definitely take out two of them. We could definitely take out one of them. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, let's see. This one's got less defense, but more HP. Uh, let's see. Oh, let's hope a crit happens. If it does, that'd be great. If it doesn't, then whatever. No, and... No. Well, that's unfortunate. What's fortunate, though, is that he does have the provoke ability, and what, what damage are these guys dealing? Not nearly enough to overwhelm them. Let's go ahead and start by attacking this guy. I'm pretty sure Gatry's just gonna attack him twice. Which isn't the worst thing, because he'll at least kind of clear the board a little bit. 
Ooh, our first instance of a hand axe. He hasn't used it uh, at close range. Or he hasn't used it at a long range, but it's a one to two range axe. Um, the downside is that it's got less damage and less hit uh, stats to it. I wonder if just having zero, def uh, zero speed makes it so you just keel over like that. Uh, uh, it'd be better off if I did this, because if he gets attacked, he'll be able to attack twice. Smack! Take that, ye balding pirate! Alright. She should... Oh, right, they're going for... Uh, I got a little bit too close, they're going for Titania now. There it is. It's such a goofy looking weapon. It's like he's got it attached to a string or it's a boomerang axe. There we go. They're going they're they're going for him. And he just steps out of the way casually. Is is cool as a cucumber. Ooh! I've made the right decision here. <laughs> Please don't kill me. <laughs> Please don't break my boss. Ooh! That's bad! Thank God, okay, she's- we're fine then. Uh, take this guy down. ba da ba da ba bum 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 I thought he was at lower health than that! Alright, well he's not gonna be able to make it anyway, so here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, you've only got seven health left, so an iron axe ought to do you good. I do enjoy these battles where they just go back and forth smacking each other. No skills or strategy involved. Very simple, as it were. Can I rescue? No. Well, especially not, especially not after attacking. Um, and just to get rid of this guy. Actually, it'd probably be better to get rid of the guy attacking her. <gasps> I use the... Excuse me, I don't even need to sully my, uh, my steel bow. I can just use the iron bow. Zap! Actually, I still can get Ike the experience. I just have to waste uh, Gatry's turn and not really go anywhere. And hopefully they don't attack Gatry. Hand axe! <sighs> you binch! And good. He's going for Ike! <sighs> Die, you! He's just like, <laughs> I like the idea that I like anybody gets hit in this game and they're just like, ah, bitch. Resistance, not bad. A defense, not bad. And HP, bad, but no strength, speed, or skill. That's, hmm. That's had to cure up again. All right. Um. I'm going to take my time with this just to try to get Ike as much uh, experience as possible. I do have to talk to her as well. Iron Lance, 13. Yeah, it should be fine. Go! Make a make a dark boy to shish kebab! That really is just, like, anti-boyd, isn't it? Same hairstyle and every- uh, like, same poses and everything. Ah ha ha ha, the anti-boyd. Just making sure these guys can't come out and have too much fun with me here. I just finish him off with the iron sword. I'm putting this iron sword through its paces. Smack! Probably should have mentioned this before, uh, but uh, the numbers next to the weapons are how much durability they have uh, left. Each hit of a sword. I'm actually gonna take the hand axe from him. Just so he still has room left. Don't wait. Uh, it's durability. If that runs out, then the weapon breaks. There's really no way to bring it back, I think. Oh, crackers. There's too many of them. I don't want to die here. Brother, this might be the end. 
Hey, are you alright? So cold, so... huh? Don't give up. Who, who are you? A mercenary. The villagers hired us to get rid of these pirates. Are you... are you going to help me? Of course. Let me and my companions take it from here. You can escape while the pirates are distracted. Oh hey, that'd be fantastic! Thanks so much, I don't know what to say! You don't have to say anything. It's all in a day's work. Pshaw, you're helping me out! I should show my gratitude somehow. That's... nice, but I can't think of anything off the top of my head. Just please, get yourself somewhere safe. Well then, I'll come talk to you about repaying my debt later. What's your name, handsome? Um, I'm Ike. I'm with the Grail Mercenaries. Ike, got it. And I'm Marsha. I'm a Pegasus Knight from Benyon. Don't forget me. All right, I'll be seeing you later. <laughs> I assume that she was like, so the reason I kind of hammed it up with her is I was, I'm assuming she was like, she was faking it. Hand axe. Let me see here. Just gotta check my range. You have a hand axe as well? No, you got an iron axe. I hammed it up because I assumed she was like faking it with like the soul cold, so cold stuff. Because if you look at her portrait, you can see that one of her eyes is slightly open when she uh, when she has her eyes closed like that. Ooh. Oh my God! He gained an experience. Alrighty. Yar, har, 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 har. Uh, let me see. What are you working with here? An attack speed. This weighs the hand axe weighs a ton. It's got an attack speed of one. Defense of five. It's possible I'll be I'll more likely be killing him no matter what. I shall wait. Sheenon shall come up here. Uh, 10 damage per hit versus 13 damage per hit. I mean, like, I might crit him as well, so, you know, either way, I'm fine with this. No crit. And throw the axe. No crit. Wow. I'm surprised he hasn't crit yet, but it is a one in five chance, but we've had a lot of chances to do so. Uh, how much health does Ike have? Only half, you say? Ugh! Didn't think that one through. I'd rather heal. Who knows what we got coming up next? End for now. He's gonna attack from a distance there. I don't know if the other guy's gonna come down here and start striking. Missed though, so that's good. Rank. Oh, here he comes. That's the boss. Oh, no, it's not the boss. Smack. Smack. Uh, I might be able to get him with the steel sword on this one and be able to attack twice. Um, Attack, steel sword. No, we're even on that regard. Iron sword is my best bet, but I also want to see what else I can do here. No matter what, he's gonna be hitting him twice. Nine will take him out perfectly. I have to depend on a crit if I want to kill this guy immediately. Well, uh, no time like the present. Then I'm just gonna I'm just gonna smack him up, oh, and maybe I'll crit. Who knows? I'm only dealing seven damage to him per hit, but we'll see. I want Ike to get as much experience as possible out of this. Yep, nothing, nothing doing there. I did attract the boss, however. Hey, and his sword skill uh, leveled up. We're gonna wait. The boss is gonna come out. Once Ike has been thrown an axe. Thankfully, this. Thankfully, the like the throwing weapons are incredibly inaccurate. And here comes this guy. Also helps that it's an axe because they're also incredibly inaccurate. I'm pretty sure the javelin is more accurate and probably weighs less than the uh, than the throwing axe. Axes run on the uh, the the um, mantra of high risk, high reward. 
Yar, you're busting me gut, you rudderless fools! Do you truly think you can face me, mighty axe, and live? Ow! Dick! That's right, I called you a dick, and I'll call it to you again. Uh, except I'm probably gonna use the Steel Lance, that way I can get 15 damage off on you, with a very low chance to hit, good lord. My Iron Bow him, that's dealing 9 damage per hit, and there's also the chance that I'll crit. If Ike attacks him, he's dealing... 7 damage, and getting nowhere near close to- well, actually, okay, 7 damage? Let's see. 7 damage... Oh wait, no, I'd have to get quite a, f a few handy hits on him. I use the hand axe. That's still 13 damage! Uh... No, and... No. Well, you know what? How much health do you have? Nine defense versus his, 18 attack. I mean, he's got provoke, so I can just wait another round. Take this guy out. 26% chance to hit on the other guy, good lord. Down he goes. I don't think I was in I was in high school when this game came out and was quite enamored with it because I this is also around the time when I first started getting into D and D. Hey, a, a strength and HP up, not bad. Plus luck to avoid crits. Um, and then yeah, I can get the I'll, I'm gonna try for this attack the 15 damage on this. If I don't get it, then whatever. Oh, he crit. Yar, ah, help me! Well, that was certainly a thing. HP and luck, not a great level up for him. We've driven off all the pirates. Your people will suffer no more indignities at their hands. Oh, that's a joyful news. Here's your pay as promised. Thank you very much. And if you find yourself in need again, do not hesitate to send word. Of course, of course. All of you put on a most marvelous show. Such combat skills. To be honest, I was expecting Commander Grail to be here today. When I saw just you, nothing more than, no offense, a band of children. Well, I'll admit I was a tad nervous. I apologize for troubling you. Unfortunately, Commander Grail had other pressing matters to attend to. Oh no, don't apologize. There's no need. After all, you got rid of those brigands and you did it impeccably well. It's a fine compliment you pay, sir, but it was our pleasure. As a matter of fact, you're more than good enough to be in the Royal Army if you so desired. Especially our Commander Grail. He's far and away better and more handsome than most any general I've seen hereabouts. Uh, uh, what I mean to say is, uh, don't you think running off pirates is a bit uh, beneath you? Like how I wish to be beneath General Grail. That's not... Don't get me wrong now, you certainly helped out all simple folk. Even so, it seems to me the proper place for you and your... Handsome Commander Grail is in the service of the Crimean throne. Well, that's what this old and horny man thinks. We... Uh, and Commander Grail are quite satisfied with the work we do now. You've nary a selfish bone among you. And I hope that... Commander Grail uses that non-selfish bone to... Well then, rest assured we'll speak again if any problems arise. Thank you again. Hmm. Titania, is something amiss? No, of course not. Our mission is complete and that's all that matters. You did very well today, every one of you. <laughs> Jobs like this barely make a dent in my incurable boredom. It's like that old buzzard said, there's better work out there, something with a bit of a challenge. Sheenon! Hey, I'm joking, J-O-K-ing. Come, Titania, 
Be honest, don't you find the work we do a bit... disheartening? Unglamorous? What, you too, Gatry? What's gotten into you? Please, look, look, we're not a band of money-hungry recruits, we're professionals, and we're very good at what we do. Shannon and I have discussed this at length. All this mundane mercenary work is unworthy of us. We're wasting our talents. I see. You're telling me that you think Commander Grail is mismanaging us. Do I have that right? Whoa, hold it right there. That's not what I'm saying at all. What is it, Titania? What's what? You seem so angry. It's not like you. Hmm. Exactly. Ike's got the right of it. It's just that, look, we do good work and we help people. I want you to be proud of that. I feel like you were saying work that doesn't bring fame and fortune isn't worth doing, doing, that's all. Sorry. No, you're right. We're the ones who ought to apologize. Enough. Let's get going, shall we? Rest is part of our jobs, too. Can't go into the next battle exhausted. Now that's a plan. I'm so hungry I could eat an Octorok. Titania. What is it? If you're looking for pride, I have it. Hmm? You and my father have kept this mercenary group together. And I'm just... Proud to be part of it. That's all. Ike. I'm surrounded by idealistic fools. What's wrong with fame? What's wrong with having money to live well on? Next time on Fire Emblem Path of Radiance, we head back and enjoy a great meal and continue our work as a newbie in the Grail Mercenaries. See you all then! Later!